Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In the previous AGM 154A JSO video, we looked at the employment process. In this video, we'll go a bit deeper in looking at what type of targets you'd use this weapon for. The primary task would be against enemy air defense sites, and to a lesser degree, unarmored and lightly armored targets. The AGM 154A is a great destruction of enemy air defense or deed weapon, whereas the AGM 88C Harm is a great suppression of enemy air defense systems, or a seed weapon. Although it can be effective against lightly armored vehicles like APCs, IFEs, and self-propelled artillery, heavily armored targets like main battle tanks are best attacked with Mavericks and sensor-fused munitions like the CBU-97 and the upcoming CBU-105. Let's get started. For our first example, we're going to launch two JSALs in an SA-2 SAM site. One JSAL will be assigned to the tracking radar in the center of the site, and then a second JSAL assigned to the acquisition radar in the foreground. In single-digit SAMs like SA-2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8 are generally pretty easy targets for the JSAL. Because such sites are generally spread out, you'll need to assign individual JSALs for the two radar components. So based on this, it looks like we had a very good effect on target, both with the uh, tracking radar element as well as the acquisition. And looking here at the F-10 map, we can see both radars and their associated vehicles have all been destroyed, leaving only the launchers, so essentially the site is dead. Next, let's do a JSAL attack on an SA-10 SAM site. And in this case, we use four JSALs, one on the flatbed tracking radar, one on the clamshell low altitude acquisition radar, one on the Big Bird acquisition radar, and one on the command and control trailer. Although the JSO has reduced RCS shaping, it's certainly not invisible to radar. And advanced systems like the SA-10 can engage it, but in this case, I've disabled that capability in the mission editor, and let's see how this works out. So once again, uh, good effect on target, and looks like all four elements have been destroyed. And again, this is a very spread out uh, SAM site, so you'll need to individually target JSALs against different elements of that SAM site. Let's jump to the F-10 map now, and we can see all those elements destroyed except one very lucky field truck. Now, of course, not all SAM sites are big spread out systems. We also have individual vehicles as well. Uh, in this case, we have a 2S6, an SA-15, an SA-8, and a Shilka, and I've assigned a single JSAL to each of these targets. I should also point out that bomblet dispersal is very random, so you may get very great effect in one mission, but not so much in the next. It is random. And once again, it looks like all four targets are destroyed, and we can confirm that here on the F-10 map. And last, I'm going to drop a single JSAL on a motorized rifle company consisting of BMP-2s and BTR-80s. Now, while certainly not as effective as a sensor fuse weapon like a CB-97 or 105, it can often disable or outright destroy many types of vehicles in this class. So of the uh, 10 vehicles in the column, uh, four are outright destroyed. And again, this will vary based on the random pattern of the bomblets. Uh, let's go to the F-10 map. And we can see that we have well, one in yellow, halfway destroyed, another BMPT almost destroyed. And actually only four of the 10 are essentially completely safe. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.